What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Back at it with that new Big Sean Detroit 2. As you guys know, that dropped on Friday. So naturally, we had to check it out, give it a listen. Uh, you know, I, I, Sean has a very interesting way of, of really fusing. And I think this is why he fits into the good music family tree so well. is because he's got this perfect way of balancing uh, a soul-driven record, an a, a, a emotional record, and still make it have lines that you remember still has melodies that are catchy and stick in your head uh, and he also has the ability of, of of balancing a full album with records that have that emotional soulful motown detroit vibe and also give you that more uh younger bounce you know um I wouldn't even know what to really call it at this point because it's it's fused so much. But he has those double time the double time bounce records, and he has that standard uh, club rhythm. You know what I mean? I think I think the one with uh, with Lil Wayne that he's got on here, I really enjoyed that one on the bounce side. Uh, of course, uh, Harder Than My Demons is one of the records that he released initially with the release of the album. There's a video for that. Make sure you go check that out. And then a couple days ago, they released uh, the Travis Scott feature, which honestly... Uh not one of my favorite records on the project. I understand that probably for the, for the sake of capturing Travis Scott fans and bringing them over into the album, because I do think that those two artists play very specific roles in the good music umbrella. Uh, so when you have like your Travis Scott records, those are that's more melodic driven. It's more about the feeling. Where Big Sean is obviously more of a rapper's rapper and, and really focuses on on his word, his pronunciation, and his delivery to make sure that all, all his records have those steady bounces. Now, of course, the Deep Reverence record with Nipsey Hussle was one that he uh, featured or, 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 or showcased a few months ago, and everybody was really excited about that one obviously because um, of, of the untimely passing of Nipsey Hussle and we've never heard a song from them pr previous to this so uh, with that being said obviously that record live up to the hype and I think everybody was really happy how it came out uh, and of course Big Sean and, and Nipsey have this uh, very interesting dynamic where they have very different personas. Big Sean is 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 more of I wouldn't say in the skater lifestyle, but he does come from a more of a poppy uh, side of, of what you imagine him to be like. Where Nipsey obviously is directly from '60s, and you know what he's getting because. You know, you know what he's getting. So, with that being said, of course, that's one of my favorite records. I never thought I'd see the day where 42 Doug was on a record with Eminem. Uh, but, of course, you know, all Detroit albums, or just in general, most Detroit artists tend to have some sort of posse cut within their projects to really give out people what, uh, what seems to be the current wave of of Detroit talent. Now, I was actually really surprised that Danny Brown, especially with him being mentioned in the Dave Chappelle uh, story, the, 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 uh, he's got these different stories throughout the album, one with Stevie Wonder, one with Erica Badu, and one with Dave Chappelle, where they talk about Detroit, what it means to them, and any experiences that they might have in the process. Now, of course, uh, Dave Chappelle's was interesting, of course, and then, you know, just from that story, you get an interesting uh, um, understanding of what Big Sean wants to deliver. I think he's obviously at a later part in his life. Records like the Janae uh, and, and Ty Dollar Sign record take you back to the Janae and Big Sean project, where it's just... Um, I don't want to say more young love, but it does kind of have that feeling of, of timeless, young, like, you know, very, very um, even the beat, the production on this record, they always seem to have some sort of retro thing that makes you feel like, you know, it's like, it's like a high school kind of vibe where it gives you that feeling of love and it's not the, the lusty, like, sexualized kind of thing. It's more of a a record that gives you kind of an uplifting, happy feeling or whatnot. Uh, and you know, that that's that's something that Big Sean can pull off and obviously Janae can pull off as well, despite both of them having obviously more graphic and more adult rated records. You know what I mean? Um, but overall, you know, at 21 records, of course, I, 
I'd hate to say that I'm getting desensitized to the idea of having albums that have this many songs on it. Um, but I do think that Big Sean, specifically with those those little skits in there, uh, does a good job of filling in the holes. And it never feels like I'm hearing the same song three, four, five times, which, you know, unfortunately with a lot of artists right now, you do get that, uh, and it does sometimes kind of drown out the album because by the time you get to, say, track 18, 19, 20, where he's giving you a different a different feeling or a different emotion, you might kind of already be, you know, dragged out with the, the, the fillers that kind of play in the same playing field. But uh, with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the album. Of course, I think Big Sean always does a good job at delivering consistency in records that you know you're getting from Big Sean. And because his flow is uh, predominantly pretty diverse and he's able to do a lot of different things even in this album he, he does try out some new things with melodies and deliveries and things like that um, and it's always good to see that these artists aren't staying stagnant in whatever's making money for them so with that being said you know I hey 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 I think a Drake feature on this album would have helped both of them but that's a good music issue. Uh, I heard that Drake and, and Kanye kind of piece things up, but you know how those things are. It's just there's something about these emo rappers. It just it's they hold a lot of grudges, so you gotta you can't take it too seriously, guys. But just make sure you go check out that Big Sean album, Detroit 2. Uh, no trick trick feature, no Danny Brown feature on the posse cut, but you do get some M, M action, you get some Post Malone action on Wolves, you get Ty Dollar Sign, you get Janae, uh, you get some pretty cool little skits from some legends. Uh, and with that being said, guys, I think this is a, this is a good album. This is a good and this is a good reinstatement of where Big Sean is at. He says that he is not planning on taking any more time off, and he seems really inspired. But you know how love is, and you know how Janae talks. So we'll see.